arrow that hit. Be careful. This is the goddess fertility. <laughs> also, the goddess that will give you peace in your marriage and love in your marriage. Love in your own self. As I say, these are warrior guys also. She's a warrior guy, so she, she do let women know who they are when she speaks to you. But you always have to give her something. She's, she takes honey. She takes cinnamon, uh, oranges, she takes wine. I would prefer the white wine, you know, but she takes the red wine. <laughs> so this is what we offer, candles and stuff like this. This is a goddess of peace. She's, she takes honey, and when you put the honey on your tongue, you won't argue with people. You'll learn how to be sweet and be able to talk to people. It comes out really sweet, you know. But sometimes it's got to be in stern. So when you have that sternness of the Iami or Yah, or I'll take you to her, and a, a sternness of the Iami, but you can talk sweet. You can be able to sweet, be sweet. And, and uh, so that's much more understanding when you come with someone and talk with them. It comes out good. So, how you feel if somebody hollering at you? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it, it ain't. What are you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, she is able to let you come out with sweetness, kindness, mm -hmm. understanding, all of that. And so, this is what we ask our shoon for. Okay? But remember, she's still a goddess of war. She's still a warrior god. But the way she is a warrior god is in sweetness. You never know that she's being at war, you know, because of her tone and her talk. <laughs> okay, come with me. Follow me. You want to hold up for you at the back? Mm -hmm. I can hold up for you. Oh, Lafia, how you doing? Good, good. All right, don't pull up too much. No, huh? no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so here we got Ogun. Whoa! Now this is that warrior guy here. I go ele. I go ele. Ogun, Ogun, mighty warrior. Oh, somebody doing their ball. Yeah. Okay, you let go for a minute. Yeah. Okay, here we have Ogun, the goddess. God of steel, iron, like the truck, the car, that's who run the truck on your car. Ogun, God is the, Ogun is the warrior. Ogun is balance. Ogun is justice. Ogun is the one that will keep the road open for you. So this will be the God that you will come to to keep your car in, in shape, you always give him some. When you take your car out, you get a new car. You always say, oh, boom, please bless my car. And we, usually we'll put something on the car, especially if we get a new car, <laughs> to make it keep running. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, you know what I'm saying? So you can keep it. <laughs> yes. And so this is what we ask for. Oh, Chosi is the guy that puts the balance, puts the balance there. You know the, the, the uh, what you call it, the arrow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking about uh, uh, Cupid, <laughs> let it, okay. It's balance that Oshosi give, along with Ogun of justice. So Ogun do not like liars, you know, anything like that, betrayers. Uh, Ogun, 
um, he's a guy that just wants justice, you know. And we have to see justice, not because of you go into court and you call that justice. Most of the time, we don't see see justice, right? Okay? But if you think about it, when you think about it spiritually, you get justice because the same thing about it, if we really think about it, it's for someone to learn some things in their life. And so that's the justice of life, not the justice that's in court, but the justice of life. And so we have to remember that. And then we keep on going because that keeps us from being angry. And this is what balances us. Okay, so this, you keep that in mind. So next time you get angry, just think about, okay, what have I learned today? What have Ogun brought me today? You know, what have Oshoshi brought me today? What, what arrow did he shoot today? And this is, this is how we balance our life. You know, keep our life balanced. Also, Ogun, he loves women. <laughs> he loves women. So if you get old goon man, get a reading first. When you're married, get ready to get married. Or if you're married already, something going on wrong or whatever, okay, get a reading first because you might have old goon man. <laughs> I tell you for real, but they will do and they will size and they will provide. Provide for you. But the mind thing, okay, it's a little bit different now. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Don't worry, I'm not going too far. Okay. <laughs> y'all, we're going to go up here next. Okay, we got to build this house up, so y'all don't mind that. We got to get, we're going to get it together. These are some of the houses. These are some of the people that passed away here. That's a tomb over there. Right there. Yes, that's a tomb. Uh, she's Ogu, a uh, Shango priest. She passed away some years ago. So we do have the tombs in their yard where they passed away at. Her and her husband is in that tomb right there. Okay, you can let go. Okay. Thank you. Somebody might think you're looking up at uh -oh. my dress. Thank you thing you trying to help me <laughs> so here we uh want to have a festival our festival is coming up for Olokun and so like I said he's the guy that's at the bottom of the sea he lies at the bottom of the sea so when he comes up from that sea be careful because he's gonna tell on you gonna tell everything everything don't you can't keep no secrets so the secret is, is that you undermine the person, he will avoid your secrets. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. <laughs> so it's always good to be truthful, you know. And then our truthfulness, somebody going to kill you. But if you don't want to do it, be there in the first place. Don't be there, you know. Okay. So we're on our way up to uh, Oya, the Oya Temple here. This is where do some women stay and the king houses the women this is also over here where the woman the house is down over here right here over here that's the woman's house over there but the house has been destroyed by the wind that's when i said anybody got any donations please we will appreciate it because we got to rebuild this house and we have a festival to the children and so now we're working on that and so now we come into Oya. Now, Oya is the goddess of the wind, the storm, tornadoes, anything that's upset. She's also the goddess of change. She's going right here, around the corner. She's the goddess of change. So sometimes, if you're not in the right character, then you know you're not in the right character. You ask Oya to put a change to your human thinking. All right, and so it's also the God of that. God of 